Hello there. My name is Daniela Rodriguez from DR Productions, and I'm the director and editor of the psychological thriller 1332. I had a blast creating the introduction to the short film, and I'm honestly really proud of myself for creating, in my opinion, a successful film. Thanks to this class, I've grown an immense passion for film, and I see myself having a future in it. I think I have great ideas, I'm very creative, and I just love it. Um, I would have never thought I'd have the skills and knowledge to create something like this, and I could have never done it without this class or my talented teacher. I've always been a huge fan of the horror genre and thrillers, yet it is difficult for me to actually get scared. Many horror films are too cliche and expected. After watching movies like The Orphan, The Shining, and multiple other thrillers, I knew I was best off creating a thriller with a sociopathic little boy. Does that make me sound a little creepy? Sorry. The second my teacher mentions our final project, I just had this vision in my head. I have a great interest in psychology as well, so I knew that I had to create an uncomfortable thriller involving a young boy with a mental illness. I can already picture, I could already picture a, a sociopathic boy killing his mother with absolutely no remorse. It's something that I would want to watch, so I thought maybe others would want to watch this too. The film honestly came out exactly how I had imagined it in my head, which is awesome had the ability to work with an amazing camera, which resulted in some great shots. The film uses various thriller conventions with, while challenging them at the same time. The film commences with an unfocused shot of the house number, which is also the title of our film, 1323. This is a unique way to introduce the title while emphasizing that the home is an important element. The, the distorted camera movements and increasing sound of the machine leading into the front door of the house in fast motion creates an uncomfortable and eerie atmosphere. The use of daylight is an uncommon thriller technique, but the lonely day brought a weird vibe in the opening scene, causing lots of mystery. It quickly cuts to a quality shot of a cup of tea with an unknown hand pouring poison into the tea. Another quick cut leads to an extreme close-up of the dirty and creepy stairs, a, conven a conventional prop of a thriller film. These techniques work together in establishing that this is not a happy home. When the home is entered, there's a spooky silence that almost echoes in the house. A typical home is composed of parents, children, maybe some animal, maybe some animals. Our product is challenging the idea of our product is challenging the idea of the conventional happy, 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 healthy, of the conventional happy, healthy family. Not all families are perfect, and the only members of the family introduced in our product are a mother and her son. The 14-year-old boy is an alienated sociopath who has an antisocial personality disorder. Living with antisocial personality disorder is extremely difficult, both for the victim and his loved ones, especially his loved ones. People with antisocial personality disorders are not able to empathize, empathize or understand any emotions. The boy does not know what love means, as much as he wants to or as much as his parents have tried to show him love. He has never experienced it and will never understand that other people feel love, anger, hurt, resentment, guilt, or any other emotion. As hard as the family may try to deal with the boy, it's gotten out of hand and the disorder has taken him away. He's not the boy the family once knew and has destroyed the household, resulting in a broken home when he has become the monster. This represents social groups and issues in the sense that mental disorders have sadly destroyed families, destroyed relationships, and alter and ruin their lives. Our target audience is both females and males, 17 and older. The product engages with the audience because it will always have the viewers on their toes. The lack of remorse and emotion that the child has towards his actions and his mother is alarming and relentless, causing a turmoil of emotions such as shock, anxiety, and fear. This will mainly attract individuals with an interest in twisted psychological thrillers. The progression of the film introduction has a nice flow and will keep the viewers engrossed at all times, wondering what the sociopathic child would do next. He has killed his mother, yet walks over her, continues to smile, and proceeds with his day. Given our target audience as young adults and adults, our short film opening will be distributed quickly greatly on social media. DR Productions has a Twitter account, an Instagram account, and a Facebook page where it will introduce the film along with bloopers, a trailer, and the entire production. Uh, throughout the year, uh, we have learned several concepts and throughout the making of different projects, I've been able to expand my knowledge on filmmaking. My partner and I have meticulously researched horror films and all the details necessary to create the film 1323. We were inspired to create this film because of an earlier assignment, actually, where we had to make a movie trailer. Um, we based it on a girl meeting a boy where she didn't know his actual age. He turned out to be a 40-year-old man with a disease, making him look like a 15-year-old boy. He ends up killing her. I don't know. I like horror. I like thriller. I like 
people killing each other. Makes me sound a bit crazy, but I think it's the most exciting kind of film to make. Um, and I don't know, it's easy to engage viewers and it's easy to be creative. And that's what I really like. Uh, before starting uh, to film, we came up with a storyboard to make sure we could, we had all the shots and all the angles set up properly for each scene. The first scene has is an establishing shot to give the viewer the context on where the film is gonna take place. This is where it zooms into the house number. It's unfocused, yet it focuses, and then the camera's kind of distorted into the sky, showing where it is, but I thought that entire shot just gave it a, a horrific vibe. Um, after that, we have a point of view shot of the door handle, and this is a good transition when filming inside of the house. We quickly just uh, go into then a cup of tea placed right in the middle of a counter, and an unknown hand pouring a liquid poison into the cup. We, we decided to just show a strange hand pouring the liquid in, and then this teenager walking out with the cup yet we still don't show his face we just show the body so the viewers are curious as to who is this what are they doing who are they going to give this tea to what's in the tea um after this we use the tracking shot of the boy going up the stairs i love this scene the stairs are ugly worn out kind of scary looking and so we zoomed and have a close-up of the boy walking up the stairs i really like this shot after this we have a point of view and a long angle and a long angle of the woman using her computer. Uh, the boy gives her a cup and then there's a zoom on the woman drinking whatever's inside of the cup. We chose to use a shooting technique to make sure that the viewers know that the woman is drinking what is in this cup. After this, there's a short establishing shot of the bathroom because this is going to be a key shot later on. And then there's a cut of the lady going down the stairs, tumbling down a bit, and right as she's about to faint, there's a cut back to the boy. The boy is putting his headphones on, and as soon as the headphones are on, there's a synchronous sound of the music heard by the boy. I really like this also because now you're in the in the boy's head and listening to what he's listening to. He then goes back up the stairs and relentlessly walks over the dead woman with no remorse, as if it's a normal action, showing that he's heartless. Then the tracking shot tracks him down all the way to the bathroom and establishes the setting. There's a cut to a point of view of a comb. He grabs a comb, begins to comb his hair, staring at himself in the mirror, kind of smiling, then opens the drawer, gets chapstick, and creepily puts the chapstick on, showing that this is normal. He's going on with his everyday routine. Then there's a pan into his room, a point of view of the door opening, and then he lays down on the bed. Um, then we cut from a view of him smiling into the camera, which is a bit creepy, and then an unfocused shot of the mother dead on the on the ground. And then we cross cut again to a pic um, a shot of him smiling. Uh, we then decide to end the film with the little boy writing down that he's killed his mother and writing down other evil things that he's done in the past to depict that he definitely has psychopathic behavior. Throughout this project, we used different technologies to meet our goals. I believe the most important technology was the professional camera. Um, it gave us more stability when shooting, and it was really cool because I wanted that handheld vibe. It almost felt and looks as if there's someone right behind him always getting shooting the action and makes the viewers feel even more anxious and if, as if they're right there. We also use my laptop to edit iMovie, Purple, Purple Planet for the song. And this was all. All these techniques made our final product possible. Uh, thank you for watching. And again, I hope you enjoyed my film 1323.